So this is a quick uh, motorcycle chat video. Uh, going to get a little heated on this one. Too many things going on, too many things happening for me not to express my opinion to all 16 people that watch these videos. First off, let's uh, let's exploit the the dog. Da boosta, da boosta, da boosta. Here he is. Say hi. Say hi, everybody, boo. Yeah, I know. I know. It's hard out there. Yeah, I push him around in this basket. It's uh, hotter than hell today. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say hot. It's only 92 degrees, but uh, it just rained. The humidity's uh, way up. So, uh, I guess the first thing I, I want to chime in on is uh, I just want to um, <clears throat> gonna get a little emotional here. All the veterans who uh, lost limbs, gave up their lives in Afghanistan. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm sorry you had such poor leadership. Your generals let you down. I don't even blame Biden for this. I mean, it, I mean, maybe he uh, made the ultimate decision. Uh, seeing those people fall from the le the wings of those planes, it was worse than Vietnam. I hope you got buyer's remorse if you voted for that complete idiot in the White House. Oh man, I tell you, I, sorry, sorry, just getting a little, <clears throat> a little emotional here. Uh, you know, I was over in the Middle East, you know, during the uh, 2003 war. Uh, you know, my wife, she says, oh, you're feeling guilty about it, aren't you? I said, no, I'm not feeling guilty. I was all for the war. It was time to take out that idiot Saddam Hussein and, and free, hopefully free Iraq, but we should have just given it back to the Iraqi people and got the hell out. Just like Afghanistan. I mean, once we went in and we took care of business, there was no reason for us to stay in Afghanistan for 20 freaking years. I'm sorry, the freaking idiots that we've got running this damn country. Are you getting buyer's remorse, huh? All you Biden people, you idiot Democrats, you out there, you getting buyer's remorse at this point? I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little, little emotional. <clears throat> the other thing, um, I guess let's just talk about couple other things here and the dog <laughs> sitting in the basket <laughs> having a good day just out getting my exercise you know I got to get out here for doctor says an hour every day I encourage you to do the same I sweating my buns off Woo! all right so uh, the Toyota Prius Prime I tell you what that is one I mean I've only had it for what a couple months so we're stalled on the trip at this point I gotta take it back on Thursday because the uh, some of the um, 3M film on the mirrors has curled up, uh, and they're gonna they're gonna rectify that situation for me, um, and uh, so I got to get that taken care of before I go. Still working on the the dust settling from the finances. You know I've been been moving money around as fast as I can, paying for that down payment on the car and everything. So uh, and then I got to put up the um, the two person tent and seam seal it. I know pretty much where it leaked. Uh, so I'm going to take care of that and get that taken care of. So uh, I don't know. I just, uh, and by the way, uh, you know, if you didn't know, the Hunger Games are here. Those Afghan soldiers died by the thousands. Uh, when I hear them say that, you know, the Afghans didn't care about their country and they just rolled aside and let the Taliban take over. That's not true. The way, we lost a whole lot more Afghan soldiers than we lost Americans. They fought for their country. They fought hard. And uh, so, just wanted to point that out. Uh, anyway, gas prices, you know, I guess you're seeing them. I'm getting 133 miles to the gallon. Wonder what you're getting. I, uh, you know, so uh, I think I did, did the right thing. Like I said, Biden will get those prices up to uh, $6 a gallon. I'm starting to see, uh, even here in Florida, I'm starting to see the inflation. 
as uh, you got Nancy Pelosi uh, printing money like a like an idiot wants to go out there and spend another six tree and I mean are you uh, you okay with that huh I don't get it I don't get it I don't get where you come from you want open borders oh my god let's just ship all the damn illegal immigrants all over the damn country COVID infected you know to uh, especially to the, they're moving them to the Republican states you know they want to they want to get those case numbers up make it make them look bad you know a lot of them are coming here to Florida so I guess uh, I don't know got a little controversial with this video but when I saw what happened in Afghanistan I just uh, well I had to say something I know it won't do no damn good only 16 people watch these videos anyway but uh, you guys uh, stay free peace out if I think of something else to say while I'm out pushing the dog around in his carriage <laughs> now he will get out he knows when I'm heading back to the car and uh, he does pretty good he'll 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 hike on back when we uh, when we turn around but that's not gonna be for about an hour yet we got a long ways to go before I'm I'm out of this park I'm sure I'll think of something else to to say in this video uh, I know better now to, than <laughs> to say it's over it's not over it's never over all right beef stay free I always try to get stuff on the video. Check these deer out. Look at them. Woohoo! Morning. I tell you, hunters are going crazy right now. Look at all of them. Holy moly. That's why I come out. By the way, I'm the only person <laughs> in the whole damn park. Nobody's here. Look at them. Look at them all. Holy moly. I'm going, hopefully, I'm getting them on the video. Let's say. You can see they're not afraid of people at all, which is bad. You know, but uh, oh, here we go. We got a good view now. Look at them. Beautiful animals, aren't they? They're just over there hanging out. Boy, I, it sounds like a thunderstorm's rolling in on me. Luckily, I got the samurai umbrella on my back. Just uh, don't know how I'm going to keep the dog. We'll be stopping up here shortly, but I, it's always good to get the wildlife on the video, huh? Look at that. Man, oh man, that's awesome. Speaking of wildlife, <laughs> look at the boot dog. <laughs> Somebody, uh, Judy's sister, unfortunately, she's, she, uh, oh, I won't even give you the history on that, but she called him baloney tongue. <laughs> look at that tongue hanging out. <laughs> oh, there he is, the boot dog. I'm exploiting the dog. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Look at him. Oh, he's, he's, he's good to go. So I'm actually recording this one <laughs> for just in case because the lightning bolt just hit right over there. Holy moly. I mean, I, you get out here, you know, in the forest and uh, you take your chances. I got to, there's no shelter. That's one thing about these parks uh, that I would encourage uh, park administrators. Now this park does have benches to sit on, but there's no place for me to, to hole up and other than put the umbrella up, but if you got lightning bolts striking all around you, do you really want to have your umbrella up? I don't think so, but let's just get a quick look around. So we're, we're here. I haven't seen a single person. Not a single person. So it's, it's kind of a... I, it, one good thing about these thunderstorms as they roll through, it, the temperature will drop. So, you know, you, I'm looking like a drowned pig right now as far as the sweat goes, but... Uh, at least things will cool down here in just a bit. All right. So I just thought I'd finish off this video with a quick selfie, just to uh, just to maybe give you some some wisdom. Uh, you know, everything in life is a is a balance. You know, I made it all the way across the park, and then what I do is I get on the uh, picnic table and I do my stretches and. Uh, do a little bit of leg raises and then do some push-ups on the bench there, you know, and uh, and then, you know, now I'm working my way back. Uh, what did I do yesterday? I worked around the house all day long, you know, got up, blew out the gutters, you know, so you kind of see where the balance is, right? I, one day around the house, one day out getting exercise, one day maybe other finances, you know, you just got to keep whittling away at it and uh, eventually it'll all work out. But I just, uh, I did want to give a shout out. If you're in South Korea, don't count on the United States. We're not coming to your aid. If you're in Taiwan, you better start a weaponing up. Because the United States, when China invades, 
we're not coming to your aid. Uh, the other hundred countries that we're in, you know, we're not coming to your aid. I'm just putting that message out. And if you're in the military, I guess all I can do is just give you my sympathy. I, your leadership are idiots. They're, it's a complete massive failure at this point from, from a leadership perspective. You've got idiots in the Pentagon that don't know their head from a hole in the ground. And, uh, and those are your leaders. So my advice is when your three year term of enlistment is up, get the hell out. Because, uh, you know, they're more interested in teaching you about critical race theory and uh, weeding out the, uh, the patriots in the military, the, the uh, MAGA people, make America great again. I don't see what's wrong with that message, but uh, they're, they're more interested in that than, uh, you know, helping you out. You're in a precarious position at this point if you're in the military. So I guess that's just kind of my, my finishing message for this video. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a, a lot of Americans that are in harm's way right now over in Afghanistan. A lot of Afghans. I hear the Taliban are making lists of all the people that aided the United States in any fashion. Uh, death lists is what they're calling them. And, uh, you know, I know you liberals are okay with that. Uh, I'm not. I think that they uh, put their neck on the line for the United States and now we've completely abandoned them. But you're okay with that. That's fine. Okay, I guess that's it for this video. This is a this is a white man angry video. <laughs> I, love, I love it when I watch uh, <clears throat> uh, Fox News. You probably never even see the guy, but uh, he goes. Uh, he's got that uh, angry angry man uh, segment. Uh, God, what's the guy's name? I can't even. Uh, anyway, he's uh, it's, it's uh, the five on there, but. Uh, Anyway, you guys, uh, peace out. Stay free.